What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. Another episode, another loop. So, um, I'm gonna go back, go back to the comet. We'll explore there, and then that loop's gonna end because you know my ship's probably gonna get yanked off the surface. Uh, but I'm gonna do some, do some risky business at the comet. I have an idea. So, I don't think I can get, I can get through the thing. I'm pretty sure that the, uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that. The dark matter is going to kill me no matter what. So, and this this is the fun part. Um, we've been using the scout launcher to, you know, take pictures, figure out where the ghost matter is. But we know, I don't know. I, I feel like it's a loop with how I went, like, to the right, then to the left. I think it's a loop. But maybe it's not a loop. Maybe it's just, like, two identical passageways, because quantum bullshit. I mean, it would not surprise me. So instead, we're going to fire our, our tracker, we're going to shoot it on out, and we're going to see where, uh, where it lands. And then after I've shot it out and figured out where exactly it lands, that should give me a, a better idea. So I can use that to determine if it is in fact a new area, kind of similar to how I, I had to use my, my scout launcher when we were in Dark Bramble. I think that's going to be the play. Actually, we got... We got time, so let's look at other stuff. Oh, rupture core, what is that for? Oh, the comet? Two missing large rupture. Looks like exploded. A ruptured stone. Oh, that might be the center thing that I saw with the, uh, the thing. Wait, ruptured core. We're gonna mark that on the HUD. Hmm. So besides that, other stuff. I think, I think everything else is Ash Twin that I got to do, which. Oh, Ash Twin and Black Hole Forge. But I don't. I think I, I probably reach you from Ash Twin. It's probably one of those teleporters. Oh, I hear cracking. Crack a lacking. It's time to go. I mean, honestly, everything else being an Ash Twin. Not gonna lie, a little disappointing. Only because it means that, like, for the next few episodes, really, it's gonna be like. Okay, now we go here, and I wait seven minutes to start doing stuff. Right, you were the clean one. Okay, so we are up on the shelf. What's that? This is just a small walkway. Yes, it is. All right, so. We go right, then we go left. And then you end up very deep. Hold on, bro. So the scout kept going, but it basically, it got close to the ruptured core. So that is definitely, definitely how I go about this. I just got confused by the loops. We make a right, and then we make a left. All right, now we're gonna slow it down a little.
Alright, so you bring me to that core. Let's launch. You are going to get me down to the thing, but you're also going to be death. What about you? Where do you go? I'll close the door real fast. Crazy ass dogs. Oh, dead person. A crystal's growing on him. Gravity is weird here. Ruptured core. Pocket of ghost matter. Another pocket of ghost matter. Spherical stone casings here seem to be the source of the energy readings, rather the source of what's within the stone, some form of exotic matter. The stone is muting our energy readings. This should be ten times what we're seeing, at least. I don't think we want this matter interacting with us. As far as I can tell, direct contact would almost certainly be fatal. I've never encountered anything like this casing. But it's all that's protecting us from what's inside. Worse still, this matter is disturbingly volatile. Lethal matter would rapidly expand, completely blanketing the star system almost instantaneously. No, oh, no, go back. The pressure is still building as the comet approaches the star system. Return to the shuttle right now. The rest of our friends seem to know they're in terrible danger. Leave your equipment and run. What are you doing? The more we know about this alien matter, the better our chances of survival. I will learn what I can here. Go warn the others. Maybe they can construct shelter somehow. Okay, so the core ruptured, ghost matter spread throughout the universe, and I'm guessing that wiped out everything, so, and we're, you know, later, we're a whole later generation. Into ghost matter, let's go. So yeah, I think from what I'm gathering, the the Nomai were here like millennia ago. I'm guessing they came they came seeking the eye. One of them was investigating the comet. Comet exploded, wiped them all out. Or not exploded, but whatever that that thing was in the comet that exploded, wiping them all out of existence. Let's see, does the ship log agree with me? All right, so I think I'm not 100%. I wonder if these all being gray means like the Nomai shuttle and, and the comet is, is done. Like I would love just like a, a check mark that's like, you're done. So interloper, I got nothing. 
There's still more at White Hull Station. Every new my tower is attuned to a specific astral body. Use this tower to stay on the work platform. What else is there to explore at the White Hull Station? The White Hull Station doesn't have a lot. I wonder what else I'm supposed to explore there. It's probably something that connects to it. Dark Bramble. Oh, I already know what's inside the seed. Oh, nope. Damn it. I keep hitting the wrong buttons. I gotta pay attention to what I'm doing. Map mode. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure we're done with the orbital probe cannon. Does that not have anything? Statue Island? Hold on, wasn't there? I'm not seeing there's more to explore, so I think we're done Giant Steep. Brittle Hollow, Black Hole Forge, haven't figured that out. Maybe there's a specific time that a quantum shard shows up at the Tower of Quantum Knowledge that allows me to, to go up to it. In Black Hole Forge, I still gotta figure that out. Some city is huge, bro. So there's some stuff on Ember Twin in the Sunless City. The, I'm trying to remember what was over there. I think it was a thing that involved uh, ghost matter and me not being able to cross the ghost matter to get to it, which means there's a different way to access it, probably. Alright, well for now, let's go... Uh, Let's go Ash Twin. Because everything else that, that I can seemingly explore, I just I don't think I can actually access it right now. Like the Black Hole Forge, you know, the path to that is crumbled. Probably a teleporter. Uh, the stuff in the Sunless City. Probably a teleporter. And I've done a pretty good job of exploring, I think. So I'm I'm get oh, I think almost smacked the shit out of me. Uh I have a feeling that all the teleporters I need are the one place that I didn't explore a whole lot of because the place is covered in sand the whole damn time. safe place to I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to keep tempo with the uh thing. I gotta also take the rupture core off my map. I don't need that marked anymore. Can I? I don't think I can do that here. Alright, so we'll call you Tower 1. You're still covered in too much sand.
pretty sure this was a teleporter down here. I want to try and, and use it to warp and see where this one takes me. I need to just get out a notebook, to be honest, and start jotting down notes of where stuff goes. If the storm comes back, we can possibly hide right here. I was trying to hide through this, but no roof, so. Come on the lookout for a giant pillar of sand. I hope it doesn't sneak up on me, you know. I'll be safe here. I think that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to explore this area, like, one room at a time as the sand is, is lowering. Alright, have I read... No, you're just a place to put a scroll. There's a scroll up there. I'm, like, 90% sure I did that. Almost positive I read that scroll. Alright, so, where do you warp to? What celestial body are you aligning with? One that I'm not gonna find out if I don't get... Okay, here we go. I should be safe in here. Wait, this is also a warp. We were warped to... Damn it! I didn't even get to see where we were warped to. I think we were warped there? Take me back! Take me back! I don't know if that little black hole icon is like the timer to warp or what it signifies. Ninety percent sure, <clears throat> but I'm gonna I'm gonna go and and uh, put it in and read it anyway. Bit of the Hangar City. We are planning the Ash Twin Project, the High Energy Lab at Ember Twins Equator. All right, so I am one of these. Probably goes to the High Energy Lab. Question is which? As soon as I warp, I'm gonna launch a scout just to map out where I'm at exactly. That is Giant's Deep. No warp. Sandstorm's coming. So are we warping to the other twin? Yes, I'm on Ember Twin. Warp 
warp receiver platform to activate warp return. Okay. Can you warp me back, please? I don't think this is going to work, but... MLG. Okay, uh, let me let it pass and then I'm gonna go over there. Figure out what the second tower is. Actually, no point letting it pass, I can just go. Where do you warp to? Maybe this one won't warp because the ceiling's broken? So we'll find out in a second, won't we? Boost, 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 boost. I'm gonna get back over to it. Alright, we got out of the sand. Come on, leave the atmosphere. Let's go. Fresh from the Black Hole Forge, Brood is installing this core sibling on Brittle Hollow as I write this. My gratitude. One warp core. I remember reading this. Fresh from the Black Hole Forge. I think this... Do you... This might kick me to the Black Hole Forge. Two. It's a nice inside building. This is three. And then the other one. Yeah, okay. And then the other one over there that I initially landed, we called that one. So, alright, so... We have four, four distinct towers. I have a little bit of time until Star Death. I'm going to chill on each of these warp platforms, and I'm just going to figure out where they go. Is there... Alright, it's coming up. So the last time I got vacuumed out, let's chill here in this nook, wait for it to pass, and then stand on it again. Because it looks active, so I, it should work. were intended as a warp to take me to Ember Twin, you're not going to work because the ceiling's broken. But 
But looking at where I am at. I'm just gonna chill. I'm just gonna chill for a rotation. That's that's the best thing I can do right now, is just figure out these warps. What celestial body do you want to take me to? Just shoots me straight with the sun. I wish I could just turn on... Oh, you know what? I kind of can. It's like just listening to the radio while we wait. Alright, the sand's coming back. I'm convinced that that warp is just broken. Whoa, God, we are flying. All right, I see nothing else in this room except the warp. This one also looks kind of broken, but let's see if it'll just yeet me out of the room that has trees. Is there anything else here? No, let's wait. I mean, it's the whole thing. It's called the Ember Twin Project. So I think all of these are connected. All these warps go to Ember Twin. Oh, no, maybe it just teleported me to... Timber Hearth. Okay. I don't think I've ever explored this portion of Timber Hearth before. This is where we're going to find, like, the big answer that I've been looking for, right here on the home planet. Yo, maybe! There's a door! Mining site. What were y'all mining for here? Pretty big discovery being on the uh, home planet. How much ore the Ash Twin project requires? The remaining towers being built. Completed towers I've seen are quite large. No material for those towers is all being taken from Ash Twin. The ore mining here will be used to craft an immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside Ash Twin's core. They're sealing off all entrances. I hope they've planned a Accordingly, the clan's decision to use timber hearths ore only for constructing the shell. And eventually, life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced metallurgy. I'm confident we won't destroy their ability to create. I forbid in your appreciation for making puns. How else would he improve? They were using this to create something around the core. It's 
the Ash Twin Project is something that's at the... God, there's a lot here. Something that's at the center of... Of Ash. So I think this... I think this is the center of, of the Ash Twin Project. Is That's where the... The memory eyes are housed. Damn, no, not right now. We're about to experience star death. No! Running out of time. Must explore. Everything I can. I have like a minute. Is this where I entered? Yes. down at towards the bottom so they were I think they were using these grav tunnels to do the mining and then it was like sent here yeah it was so the grav tunnels were being used to to perform the actual mining itself. Taking big chunks out. I'm safe from star death here, right? Yeah, it would be equally terrifying and also kind of peaceful if this is how we would, uh... You know, because it would happen instant. Like, you would see a light coming, but then it's just over. Like, a supernova occurring. It's not like, ah, I've been paying. Like, no, you would instantaneously die. Be one of the cooler ways to go out. Anyway, let's wrap things up. We can check three towers off our list. We have that last tower, which I think that's Black Hole Forge. So we're going to confirm that. If it is, we're going to go there we're gonna do the black hole thing we're gonna raise it up we're gonna go to black hole forge we're gonna activate it and we'll see where that takes us so stay tuned i'll catch y'all soon with some more